Welcome to the third episode of Ask Girl, where I take the most interesting or the questions that need a little bit more detail that have been asked throughout the week and asking them to answer them in a little bit more detail. So today we're going to be talking about why you might be training and not losing weight, but then as well as that, how you can develop muscular imbalances if you're running on a treadmill. First question came from Tracy Jane. This is one of our clients. She asked, why aren't I losing weight even though I'm fitting into my clothes better and I've been training for a long time on a calorie deficit? Check this clip. How much do you weigh now in comparison to when you first started training? I weigh the same. But how much body fat percentage have you lost? Uh, Lost, I was 42 and now I'm 27. So 15% body fat. Yeah. So you've essentially lost, well, you've lost almost two stone yes. in body fat, yeah. but you would have put two stone on in muscle. Yes. Right. So therefore, my advice to you guys is if you are weight training to lose weight, this is fantastic. It's a great step. You will not regret it and you 100% will not get too big. But you need to make sure that throughout your weight training process, you're taking your body fat percentage because this will ultimately drop, whereas your muscle mass will increase. So you have fat down, muscle up, meaning that your weight might even stay the same, but you're going to look a whole lot better as a result. Second question comes from Shweta. Shweta's question was, is it bad for you to run on a treadmill. I'd say it's not bad for you to run on a treadmill, but you have to be cautious of certain muscular imbalances. One will be from the knee and the hip extensors. The problem is, is that when you're running on ground, you're automatically decelerating yourself. That means that you're trying to take the impact away from your knees and your ankles. This is why your calves and your quadricep muscles are probably a little bit more active when you're running on the road, because they're trying to decelerate you and they're trying to reduce the amount of impact that you sustain whilst running. But then as well as that, because the treadmill is dragging your foot back, essentially you're not having to propel yourself forward as hard. This means that your gluteus maximus muscle, which is a very, very important muscle for postural stability uh, whilst exercising, but as well as that, an important muscle for forward propulsion, might not be as developed. So if you're running on a treadmill, here are the top three exercises that I'd recommend to try and reduce the amount of imbalances that you're generating. First of all is pyrometrics. You should be doing certain forms of box jumps. Now I'd recommend that you start off with a height that you can jump onto and jump down from. The reason why is because you actually challenge the muscles more by decelerating the fall rather than generating the jump up to the box. When you decelerate yourself uh, coming down off of the box, you will be starting to condition the tissue around your knees, your quadricep muscles, as well as your calves, which are important with running. Second, I'd recommend glute bridges and hyperextensions. Glute bridges and hyperextensions are a great exercise to help to challenge the gluteal muscles, which means that you will maintain a high amount of strength and muscular development in the glutes to help your forward propulsion and to help correct muscular imbalances. Third exercise would be knee extensions and lunges. Knee extensions or leg extensions and lunges are a great way to start to challenge the quadricep muscles, but as well as that, I actually prefer lunges because they help to uh, reduce muscular imbal imbalances between the hips and the knees, which are very, very, very common in runners, which can predispose patellofemoral inflammation, which is where you develop inflammation inside your kneecap. So that is it for our skill today. What I want you to do is to post your questions below uh, with how I can help you and how we can, how our team can help you by answering all your health and fitness questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Comment below.